A West Bloomfield woman is getting the word out tonight about a terrifying scam that happened to her last week. She received one of the typical calls saying there's a warrant, pay up and go to j or go to jail. But then the scammer showed up on her doorstep. As Nick Monticelli reports, it turns out scams all over Metro Detroit are on the rise. I got a call and they said they had a warrant for my arrest. They found a car down in Texas. Um, registered to me with cocaine in it. She has asked we conceal her identity and you'll understand why in a moment. But this woman got that scam call offering to void her warrant if she cooperated. They wanted all my bank information. They wanted me to purchase gift cards for them, read them the numbers off the gift cards. And after I did all that, then they could cancel the arrest warrant. Normally, she would think this was a scam, but they knew her name, address, and social security number. She was afraid of jail, even for something she did not do. I went to the store, purchased some gift cards, um, read them the numbers, and they said they'd come back tomorrow come back to my house tomorrow to um, take me to the bank to close out more counts. And that right there is the most concerning part for police. Not only did they say they would come to her door, they actually did, dressed and identifying themselves as police officers. One said that they were a West Bloomfield police officer and one said that they were an FBI agent and they had a warrant for my arrest. But since I had my child with me, they weren't going to arrest me that day as long as I cooperated. Again, if she cooperated. The scammers ended up getting nearly $1,500, and the fact they showed up at her front door makes this a much bigger deal. They already use high pressure tactics on the phone, but now they're actually physically showing up at your residence, and that's a whole different escalation. Deputy Chief Kurt Lawson from West Bloomfield PD says scams like this are rising in every city in Metro Detroit. In his city in 2020, there were 475 fraud cases. In just the first two months of this year, there are 75 cases. And that's why we want to reach out to our residents in the greater metro area and let people know you really got to guard that personal information. As a reminder, a real police agency will never call and ask for money, ever. The two scammers that came to this woman's door are likely behind dozens, if not hundreds more. And they're kind of using a shotgun approach. Uh, there's multiple ruses that they're using, and they're getting very good at this. It's terrifying. Nobody wants to lose money. Nobody wants anybody coming to their house, scaring them, or using scare tactics to get money out of them. In West Bloomfield, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.